Welcome to Stitch Tutorials. This tutorial is about a pattern that you can buy for Rainbow Teddy to support the NHS. In the kit you will receive full instructions with photographs. At the back of the instructions is a page to photocopy the pattern to cut out for the bear. Seven pieces of wool felt, good quality wool felt, rainbow colours. 35 grams of stuffing, polyester stuffing, silk threads, one of each colour, four buttons for the arms and leg joints, and two buttons for the eyes. The next stage is to decide the combination that you would like for your teddy. Here's three examples of rainbow teddies, each with a different colour order scheme. So I have actually chosen purple for my body red and green for the legs, yellow for one side of the arm and the foot pads and the head gusset, blue paws, the ears, blue one side, orange the other, the other side of the arm orange and the head blue. Here we have all the pieces cut out. So the legs have the green side and the red side and the foot pads are yellow. The body is two pieces in purple. The head has a yellow gusset, two royal blue head sides, and for the ears, an orange and blue combination for the ears. And for the arms, yellow on one side, orange on the other, and blue paws. So now we have all the pieces that we need. Okay, the silk threads that are in your pack actually have six strands so you can pull them apart. And you're going to be working just with two strands each time you sew. So if I just pull that through, you can see it's now dividing. The next stage, I'm going to start with the body. And I'm going to start at the top here. And I'm just going to over sew. Keep the end out. You could do blanket stitch, but I actually don't want the stitches to dominate the actual bear. And then I've got this loose end. I'm just going to tuck it in between the felt. So it's out the way. Because if you cut it off, you could end up with that seam coming undone. So the idea now is to over sew with small stitches all the way around. Now I've chosen purple with purple but you could choose any of the colour threads to go on any of the pieces. Okay, I've sewn all the way around and left a space at the top. My needle's still threaded there, and I'm now just going to start putting some stuffing in by just pushing it in. Don't overstuff it, because uh, you just want to make it look just a really nice shape. Just push it in. You'll be amazed how much it does take but you don't want to stretch the seams. Just give it a feel. There's your shape. And all you need to do now is just seal and stitch across the top. Here's our two head pieces. And I'm just going to place them together like that. And I'm just going to pin them in place. What I'm going to do is start at the bottom and over sew to the top there. I've sewn all the way to the top to the nose here and I'm going to take the yellow gusset and I'm going to fold it in half, find the centre point and match it to the nose point there and just take a pin and pin it in place. Like that. What you're going to do now is sew all the way down the edge and all the way down to the neck with the gusset and then go to the other side start again from the middle and all the way down the other. Okay so I've sewn already around one side of the gusset. This is the hard bit because you have to actually manipulate the gusset to go around the very edge. I took the pin out quite quickly once I've done a few stitches. Now I need to start again at the nose and stitch all the way round to the back of the neck. The whole head is now sewn and I need to stuff inside here.
make sure you get it right up into the nose. Okay, so I've gathered round once and I can pull it tight and start to close it. I need to go round once more. And then when it's really gathered in tight, you can fasten it all off. Okay, there's the head finished and sewn together. And Rainbow bears. It would be lovely to see them sitting in the window underneath.